ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids across this beloved empire. How we doing, Gungans, Droids, Kiati Mundi looking conads. We got a variety of topics to talk about, so I hope you're nice and comfy in your Kyber suede seat that you are indefinitely sitting in at the very moment. We got three topics to talk about today. Overnight, you may have missed it because there's no communication. Yeah, you guys know the drill at this point. Why would they tell you this? There was a secret update in Galaxy Heroes, which gave us a brand new animated, reworked our Emperor Palpatine, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Slight possibility. We're going to get a touch-up slash rework for Emperor Palpatine if history repeats itself. And afterwards, we also have an important PSA with Grand Arena that might change your strategy when it comes to placing defense and offense. And thirdly, the third topic I've been scared to talk about publicly because people are like, please don't talk because Capital Games might take it away. I'm seeing it being talked publicly before I did on Reddit and forums. So it's out there and I think it's intentional and I want to make sure you guys know about it because again, there was no communication talking about this. So we're going to have an emergency whale or fail episode towards the end. You guys are amazing, by the way. Last episode, you guys had a blast with the whale or fail. So you have a little whale or fail at the end. But first things first, I'm the realist. Let me cut that part out, Gary. Awesome, thanks. I can always count on you here. We have the newly precious Emperor Palpatine. And you still, if you did not see that there was an update in the Google Play Store, you probably still see this right here. This is the old Palpatine right here. Go to your Google Play, go to your iOS store. There was no notice of this. There is a new update, which adds some new textures to Palpatine. This looks a lot better than the old Palpatine. I will say the hands look a little bit awkward. It would have been nice if he had his cane, like we see with his relic piece, and maybe he's had his hands down. That's a little awkward, but overall, this looks a lot better than most Galaxy of Heroes characters here. Of course, I think there still can be improvement on top of it, but we're still making progress, forward progress. In Galaxy of Heroes, I mean, it, it's really unsettling to an extent. This is definitely more, it looks like The Last Jedi. Uh, not The Last, I keep... Return of the, can they make their own movie titles without scamming on the previous ones? Jeez, the Return of the Jedi. It looks more like the Return of the Jedi. Emperor Palpatine here. And this now brings up the question, which I was like spam constantly overnight. Is there gonna be a Palpatine rework? And I wanna say there's a good chance. I don't think they're gonna make him God tier dead like Vader because of Sith Eternal Emperor Palpatine coming out, but I think he could use a touch up. He is a solid legendary character. But really, his whole kit is mostly uh, his leadership ability. Emperor of the Galactic Empire. This is really where Palpatine's uh, forte is, is just having a very solid leader ability for beginner players, mid game players, end game players that works with a variety of Sith and Imperials. And of course, Palpatine Vader being the most deadly combo that we have in the game. So there has been a lot of examples in the game where we've gotten art changes and all of a sudden boom a rework happens the biggest example was darth vader a week before his rework he got total uh, total design changes he has better textures in my opinion looks better and then a week later we got a rework and we can kind of repeat this over and over again hk47 got uh, animation changes graphic changes and then all of a sudden they got a rework uh what other ones did we get gary uh clone troopers they got a bunch of change but they didn't get a rework until a couple months later but there is pretty much one instance where something like this never happened we're going to take a little trip to the seppies right here and that's with asajj ventures asajj ventures got a minor graphic change she got a different idol stances and all that stuff but she never got a rework she never got really separatist synergy she just has that separatist tag so i don't want to get too crazy excited our rework for popping could happen but i think it would be nice but i don't i'm not getting my hopes up too much because we have a Sith Eternal Emperor Palpatine right around the corner. And I don't think they want to make this Palpatine that close in viability to the new one. But I really hope they do because this is an early accessible free-to-play legendary. Probably one of your first legendaries you're going to get if you don't go for uh, Padme Amidala with the Separatist round. But let's see where the future pans out. Overall art it looks a lot better. Let's try to get some other characters to look as good here. Moving on. We got to talk about Grand Arena. You're going to see all this hoarded energy. We're going to talk about that towards the end. Hold your horses. Don't get too crazy about my energy right here. We got to go to Grand Arena. New season of Grand Arena upon us. And if you guys recall, especially for Division 1, Division 2, you're going to be seeing double ships on defense and double ships on offense. And why am I sitting here talking about it with you guys right now? <sighs> I think this is only going to apply to Division 1 and 2. 
in general, how it works, I don't know. I can't 100% confirm, but if all is uh, staying true and nothing is changing with under Division 2, normally people place their heaviest defense here to protect the back wall because this is where the most points are. Well, ladies and gentlemen across the galaxy, if you look at the math now, the ships, the, the, the Northern Territory has become a lot more valuable. So if you're placing your defenses, you might be, if you're one that likes to place heavy defense on front, this is probably where we're gonna wanna go because the ship zone has way more banners than the Southern Territory. Look, Conquer, 186 banners, and usually you get 60-ish some banners on here. When you do the math, the, the North Territory is gonna have a lot more banners as we see here. So I wanna put that out there in case you didn't pick it up and you're devising your grand arena strategies here. If you like going heavy on the front, the most points are up here now. So it usually comes if people can't full clear, it's gonna be who can clear the Northern Territory over the other person so that's an important little tidbit i want to put out there but lastly ladies and gentlemen ooh. all right i you know there's always this curse with me sometimes since i have such a, a wide reaching empire anytime i put something out there that's very free to play friendly helps the masses out that maybe capital games didn't want or intend they usually come around and patch it nerf it I purposely have not talked with this for the past month because I was worried about that. I actually talked to people and they're like, please don't talk about it because it, they might get rid of it. It seems like this is intentional. People have been talking about it. Reddit and forums the past month. Capital Games, again, uh, no, to my knowledge, no communication about this. But you're going to be seeing right now, this is why it's important. For Galactic Legends, especially, we have Galactic Legends, Palpatine, Luke, I'm assuming Kit reveals this week, event next week here. As we know, when you're farming for, let's say, Luke Skywalker, Grandmaster Luke Skywalker, if you want to get the tickets, the worst thing about this event, especially with all the bugs, imagine your game crashing when you're in an event, you just lose the tickets. We're not going to go that far. I think the ticket system is garbage for these Galactic Legends. But you farm light side battles with your normal energy to get light side tickets. With the dark side, if you're going for Palpatine, you need to farm dark side things in order to get dark side tickets. And this is why, for me personally, because I wanna be able to unlock the character during the event or within the next day so we can make videos, start analyzing which is the better characters. I'm hoarding energy until the event happens. So that way we can have a really good stream, ladies and gentlemen, of actually unlocking. Because last time we were surprised at uh, how badly formed Galactic Legends were, but what I want to talk about here is in relation to this. It's a big pro tip, whether you're getting Galactic Legends now, later, or even if you're not going for Galactic Legends, we have a very, very, very special segment in our whale or fail, ladies and gentlemen. So I need you guys to buckle down, relax. This is going to be a game changer if you're wanting to get ooh, some Galactic Legends even faster and cheaper, I'd say. So Gary, roll in the intro. It's time for Whale or Fail with your host, the Grand Admiral, director of the video gaming division of the Galactic Empire. Take that away, Gary. <laughs> people, 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 oh, thank you. You guys are amazing. You guys had a ton of fun of me during the last Whale or Fail. We are breaking out all the amazing content. And Star Wars Galaxy, it's not even funny. Thank you guys for coming out again. Make sure you smash that like button because today we're going to have something that's going to blow your mind. A bit of an emergency whale or fail here, people. <sighs> Card in the top right hand corner. This might be news to some of you. I discussed this. Android players, this is why I highly recommend you use an Android emulator, use an Android device when playing Galaxy Vero's. It seems like Android people are going to have a severe, massive advantage over our ios users out there and this is where it comes down to the google play points if you guys remember i made a whole video as i said car in the top right hand corner when you're wheeling on galaxies or anything in general on an android device you can sign up for google play points not available for all countries out there and you can redeem these points you see me i've talked about this before you get these points i got eleven thousand points give or take right now and there's a special 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 mind-blowingly amazing offer for Star Wars Galaxy. So if you want a whale, you get these Google Play points and there's a special offer. So you click on use right over here and right at the very top, ladies and gentlemen, get, let's get uh, the frame for that. You have two amazing bundles that are worth 100 and, uh, 150 points or 750 points. And you might be asking, all right, what's inside them? I was gonna hoard my points until we had the, the Galactic Legends. We're gonna show it right now. This is going to make people unlock the Palpatine Luke on day one. And if you're playing on iOS, 
you're kind of getting the short end of this thing. This is why I was extremely worried about it, talking about it. It's been public out there, so if it gets taken away, it's not just my fault. It's been out there for so long. I need to make sure you guys know about this. It doesn't feel right holding back information. We have the small galactic enhanced mode. I'm going to buy it now so you can see it. If you're going for Galactic Legends, I highly, 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 highly recommend you buy this first one as we're going to see. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to redeem these points right now. Uh, yes, use points. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Then there we go. The bank says, ladies and gentlemen, the bank says it's a whale. Beautiful. All right. Let's go over to the app store. <laughs> oh, all right. You got the little notification. I backed out of it really quickly, but here we go. Boom, Gary, play the song again. And here's what you get in that galactic, a small enhance button for 150 points, which is a steal. You're getting some 50 crystals. You're getting a good amount of uh, mod slicing pieces, some miscellaneous gear here, which is nice. And there it is, 150 energy. This is going to be a game changer for this event. As you saw, I have 11,000 points saved up. I can buy this pack. I'm assuming there's no cap. I bought this already once or twice in the past month. I'm assuming I can buy this 11 times. Baby, baby, baby. We're going to be unlocking Galactic Legends day one, if that's the case. Watch. We're going to go ahead and uh, I think it already automatically accepts. Yeah. You notice my energy. We were at like 2,200. We're at 2,429. Now, let's go ahead and show you the other one in case you're curious about the comparison. The other one, if you don't care about the gear, again, I'm looking at this strictly from a Galactic Legends standpoint here. But if you're just someone that wants a, an amazing deal on some gear, energy, and some other miscellaneous resources like the mod slicing. This is where to go, people. I'm, su <laughs> I'm not surprised, but I am surprised that Cap Games didn't release this. I'm assuming this is officially supported by Capital Games. All right, we're gonna use 750 points, and you're gonna see why I don't recommend buying this over the other one if your sole purpose is garnering as much energy as possible for Galactic Legends. All right, let's go back over here. Boom, open app, but you get a little notification in a second. Maybe, there we go, look at the money go, people. We are hoarding hard. I should be able to get like tons of energy as a result of this. All right, inbox. That was our small enhancement bundle. And here we go. Large bundle. Whew. 750 points, right, Gary? And you're getting 300 crystals. That's a nice chunk of uh, mod slicing pieces right there. 10 stun guns. Woo! These uh, heat sinks right here. A lot, there's just a lot of gear. Some Cairo tech in here. Woo! I mean, the list goes on and on. But then here we go. 350 energy. I feel bad for iOS users. This is a severe advantage. I mean, this isn't the first time. Uh, iOS players have gotten the short end of the stick, and I believe it's an Apple problem. Not a Capital Games problem, EA problem, Google problem. Apple just doesn't seem to do these type of promotions that Google does. We've seen this in the past. Remember K2SO? Remember that people who played at Google? They had they got K2SO for free. And iOS users got nothing, if, I, if my recollection's correct. So this isn't brand new, people. And the reason why I say the other bundle is better, remember, this is 150 points right here, and you get 150 energy. Over here, the large bundle, you spend 750 points, and you only get 350 energy. So roughly six, seven times uh, more expensive, but you're only getting about double the energy. So what I'm going to be doing on our Galactic Legends stream is I'm going to be spending the rest of my 11... No, I'll ten, now 10,000 points or so on buying this right here because that's going to get us over 10,000 energy and that is huge there might be even a chance we get both Galactic Legends day one I'm not expecting it but this will for sure help me get the Galactic Legends day one at least one of them on the stream so ladies and gentlemen that is why I wanted to make sure you guys knew everything about this huge biggest secret in Galaxy viewers right now that Capital Games doesn't even want you to know I'm assuming this is intended Capital Games is fine with this. Again, they've done promotions where I, or Android users got an upper hand over our iOS players. Unfortunately, complain to Apple. Don't complain to Capital Games. Whew. This is huge, people. I hope you guys enjoy. Actually, really quick. <laughs> and I, you know, it's funny. I kind of did Whaler Fail off review as a joke the other day, and people really found it helpful. One more minor thing before we get going here. There's another offer that popped up in here. For $19.99 for the small Galactic, uh, Galactic Legends gear bundle. Is it worth it? I'm going to give my stamp approval for $20. You're going to get more value with the gear inside than you would have buying them individually. Just a real quick example here. Boom, right here. Uh, let's see. I have a mate. See, like this part right here. Actually, let's find a better example real quick. Mace Windu, no one likes to talk about him. 
No one likes to talk about that guy. So coming back over here, let's see. Uh, let's look at this one. I don't want to talk about Mace Windu. It opens up a pain in my heart. If you watched that Cubs interview the other day, <laughs> even Carrie was like, what the heck is going on with the Mace Windu? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to Candor's Ordinal here just to show you how you're getting value for your crystals. That's not in there. So this right here, you're not getting a full crafted piece, but what you are getting is you're getting one of these bad boys and already this costs 1,400 crystals to just get uh, one of those. That's just the Carbonti. We're not even talking about this over here, which is a couple, which is over a thousand some crystals. I think 1,400, 1,500 crystals for 40 of these right here. So right there alone, you're getting a good deal, but let's look at the other piece. Let's go ahead and take a look at Biston. Biston has one of these bad boys right here. And again, right here, these are normally, oops, I pressed the wrong button. These are normally 1,400 crystals for 50 of these. So when you take 1,400, 1,400 for a Carbonti, 1,400 for these guys, ladies and gentlemen, that gets you already $20, and that's not even calculating the other gear. So if you need the whale, and if you're trying to garner some points for those Google Play points, I give my stamp approval for this, and that's gonna wrap it up for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for coming out. Hopefully you found any of this information helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below in the video comments. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed day. And it's always great to be in the Empire today.